What is up ninjas? My name is Semrol and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to steal a song with millions of views. How dare you watch this video? How dare you? Don't worry fam, the title is just meant to be like a sausage fattener kind of title to pump up them views, babe. But today we are gonna be talking about a situation that is very bad. Recently I got an email from Michael the whistleblower. I'm gonna call him Sense Whistleblower. And that email Michael explains the situation happening to one of his clients right now called The Fat Rat, which is a EDM music producer by Say. Now The Fat Rat makes a song called The Calling, decides to make a YouTube video about it and post it up and it gets millions, millions of views. The guy has some good music, electromelodic house kind of tune. Fast forward to last month in November where a copyright company by the name of Randips claims that the song in that video he has for his song is their song and most specifically it's a song from a different artist by Andres Galvez called The Calling. So YouTube processes this copyright claim and now when you go on the Fat Rat song Calling and you scroll down it says that the song is actually The Calling by Andres Galvez. And to make matters even worse the money that the Fat Rat would have made from that video is now going to Ram Jets, which according to Michael is gonna be about $3,000 a month. So obviously like any other producer would do is they would go to YouTube and tell them, no, this is my song. But according to YouTube, you have to resolve it with the company that filed the copyright claim dispute. So the Fat Rat goes and tells the company, no, this is not your song, this is my song, and he files a counterclaim against them. Now, the bad thing about this claim thing, guys, is gonna be that the company has to decide whether to accept the fact that, nope, we were wrong, this isn't our song, or tell them, nope, this is our song. And Ramjets is very bossy, they're motherfucking Colombians, man. And they decide to deny the counterclaim that the Fat Rat did. Well, then the Fat Rat decides to contact you to directly stating, yo, look, my song came out 2.5 years ago, His song came out 1.5 years ago it's a damn bootleg unofficial remix of my song shit it even has a vocal from my song in it and he presents all of this to youtube all the stats all the information that proves that this guy owns the song and youtube decides to tell him nope we can't do anything about it because you know this has to be the settle between you two we don't mediate in these kind of disputes but the sad thing about this is guys is that he, he decides to submit another counterclaim ramjits is obviously gonna go fuck you and pretty much he's gonna get a copyright strike this time he has yet to get it and with a copyright strike you know you have a lot of bad things that happen to your YouTube account and it could ruin his YouTube channel. I should know as it happened to me since I do a lot of feedback streams with you guys I never got my silver play button because I've been playing a lot of unofficial remixes on my channel that I review for you guys. Now the funny thing to me is that YouTube is doing nothing about it. Now this channel is all about producing EDM music so it's safe to say that all of you guys are EDM producers and if we hear the original song The Calling by the Fat Rat and we hear Andres Galvez The Calling we can instantly hear that Andres Galvez The Calling is a motherfucking bootleg of The Calling by the fat rat if we hear it Andres Galvez the calling has the fat rat breakdown literally he got the mp3 put it in his song put some tech house jumps over it and this shitty simply to kill it man he should have hit me evil sounds up I would have hooked him up with a good lead at least now the reason I decided to make this video guys is because this situation is very scary for us imagine you're a producer you put your music up on YouTube and it gets a lot of views, so you start making a living from it and hold and behold you're, you're happy and then this company from another part of the world decides to say nope this is our own copyrighted work because this asshole did an unofficial remix of it a bootleg and he signed it with us and now you have you are stuck there's nothing you can do now let's put into the scenario that you aren't as big as the fat rat you don't have money like the fat rat to hire lawyers well YouTube ain't gonna do shit for you no one's gonna do shit for you and now you're stuck and this is a very bad situation so it's very important that we show our support in any way that we can towards the fat rat and see how this resolves guys because this is very scary for anybody that is posting music up on YouTube now this situation is even more scary because anybody can upload a song on Spotify, copyright a song now with platforms like DistroKid out there. So very, very scary guys. I want to hear your opinions on this though. What do you guys think about this whole situation happening? You know, I don't know the law like that guys. I know you can take someone to court for copyright disputes and all that stuff. But the issue here is that this is a company from another part of the world. They don't have any contact information about them. They don't have any phone number. They don't have any names. All they have is an email that Michael has provided for me. And then even searching this email up online, you'll see like this website saying this this is unshady this is shady this is a shady email untrustworthy so this situation is looking bad guys but right now i'm keeping an eye on it just to see how the fat rat resolves this because this could be something that we can look at in the future if it ever happens to you and you can kind of follow the steps that the fat rat has been doing i feel like the fat rat is taking the right steps and getting a lawyer involved and trying to take these guys to court because this whole situation is just really bad having someone steal your song i know this
this happens to a lot of people however in smaller formats you know young producers put their songs up people steal them release them via distro kit onto spotify and whatnot so it's really really important that you guys are careful with your music with your work so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below have you ever had your track stolen what do you think about all of this and again remember to show your support for the fat rat you know this easily happens to a lot of people i know in the smaller smaller areas where you will post like a track up for feedback someone will download it and post it up on spotify without your permission with distro kit and then when you upload it up onto youtube you get copyrighted it's your own damn track so let, let me know if that's ever happened to you guys there definitely needs to be a lot more regulation when it comes to distro kit and all that stuff which is you know fairly new so hopefully it comes with that hopefully there's a good outcome to this situation and hopefully we can kind of use that as a way for ourselves if this ever happens to us as well and with that being said guys you guys have a good day and we'll see what happens